So the big question is this, how are marketers like us who don't cut corners and rely on a hype filled black hat scammy marketing who are always focused on providing value first and over delivering for our customers with every single purchase they make, how do we market our products and services in a way that allows us to get our message out into the world, dominate the competition, and create a lifestyle of freedom and abundance without sacrificing sales and profit? That's the riddle, and on this show, you'll find the answer. Hey, my name's Misha Wilson, and welcome to Marketing with Misha. What is going on, everyone? Misha Wilson here. Let me know what your name is and where you're coming in from with a quick comment as you hop on here. Let me know with a quick yes that you can see and hear me loud and clear. And with that said, I want to go ahead and dive into another episode of Marketing with Misha. I want to discuss a post that I actually posted yesterday and uh, talk about the power behind what I was going after and why I took certain action steps after I went ahead and got that post and really kind of how you can apply the principles to your business to become a more powerful leader, influencer, and at the end of the day, have a much stronger business. So let me know with a quick yes in the comments box so you can see and hear me loud and clear. Give me some comments, likes, hearts, and shares if you guys get value. And with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but yesterday on my you know personal Facebook profile, I posted a comment from a customer and it was a comment that came in my Facebook profile messenger. And uh, essentially it was just, you know, F you, you mother effing, you know, a-hole. That was the whole message. And you can tell like he specifically wrote out one letter at a time for added emphasis. So there was like, you know, this strong emotional reaction behind him taking the time to write it out in a certain way to really drive his point home and uh, get the message across just the way he wanted to. And in thinking about it and thinking about where I've kind of come, you know, from a psychological standpoint in running my business from when I first got started up until now, something like that way back when would have totally stopped me in my tracks. So it would have stopped doing videos, it would have, you know, stopped writing emails, it would have stopped creating content, I would have stopped marketing in general. And I kind of would have got stuck in a state of analysis paralysis and, you know, God, am I saying the wrong thing? Am I being the wrong way? Should I be doing something differently? Should I be approaching this differently, et cetera? And all of those doubts would have crept in and I would have lost all momentum. I would have been totally screwed. And that customer who probably in reality is just having a bad day, right? Now, probably I did something to uh, kind of spurn the reaction, but probably he was just having a bad day too, would have completely stopped me in my tracks. And looking at where I am now, when I have that type of feedback, when I get you know something from a customer that is just blatant hate mail, and I get email hate mail, I get Facebook hate mail, I get you know comments on blog posts, etc., it doesn't really affect me in any which way. And there's a reason. Now, look, if I get a review from a customer about a product, if someone goes through a product and says, this could be better because you're not giving you know, transcriptions, that's happened in the past, then I'll look at it. Then I'll actually say, okay, cool. This person's going through analyzing, saying they like the product, could it, but it could be better. And let's make improvements based on their feedback. But if it's just a straight up hate message, you have to let it roll off your bat back and you have to let it do it. You have to do it fairly quickly. And the truth is that there's kind of an untold power behind being okay with being disliked and actually being disliked. And Dan Kennedy has a quote and he says, in marketing, if you haven't offended by someone, if you haven't offended someone by noon, you're doing something wrong. You're not marketing hard enough. And so on a daily basis with Kennedy, he's looking to offend someone in his audience by noon in order to create an emotional reaction. And that's really the key here. When you create an emotional reaction in a you know, certain way with marketing, I can get you know, further into a more advanced training for my actual SAN members here at some point in time. But when you create an emotional reaction to the level that I did with that person yesterday and you know, again, get that person to a state where they're so irritated 
in a certain way that they go out of their way to kind of, you know, send hate on the equal and opposite end. There are going to be people that absolutely love you. All right. On the equal and opposite end, there are going to be people that if you do it correctly, absolutely love what you're saying. Absolutely stand behind the message that you're going ahead and presenting. Absolutely get behind you as someone going ahead and putting that message out there. And uh, if you're on my email list, you know the moment that I got that message, I screenshotted it, I put it up on Facebook, I took it, I sent it out to my list. And instead of kind of shying away from, you know, let's not let anyone see this message, I don't want anyone to see this message, I actually went the full opposite direction and I wanted more people to see the message. I wanted to kind of perpetuate the message almost because I wanted to make it clear for the people who really love me and follow me and already tune into me, again, that there are people out there that dislike me. And that again, brings them further into my camp because they realize that they're one of the fans of me and they wanna follow me. And when there's that opposite kind of enemy, they realize that they aren't one of them, so they are one of us, right? And for that group of people who don't like me, guess what? They, in this circumstance, usually what will happen is they'll get annoyed, they'll get irritated, they'll get frustrated that I sent it out. They'll say, God, Misha shouldn't send that kind of stuff out to his list. Uh, you know, Misha's an irresponsible marketer. Misha doesn't take other people's feelings into account and so on and so forth, whatever they might say, right? But because I create more of an emotional reaction in them based on sending it out, they're going to continue to tune in, to open, to pay attention, to follow, to learn, to listen over the course of a period of time. And usually what they'll do is they'll talk, all right? When people don't like someone, Ty just jumped on his Facebook Live, the first thing he said was that LeBron James was trash, right? LeBron James is polarizing. I love LeBron James. Titus hates LeBron James, and therefore we're talking about LeBron James. And that's the whole point here. When you can get to a point where you are fine with, okay with, and actually embrace being disliked by 50% of the people that follow you, tune into you, listen to your message, and continue to go ahead and listen to your message, and you're fine with it, You'll have a group of people who don't like you. You'll have a group of people that like you. But at the end of the day, everyone will talk about you. And when everyone's talking about you, guess what happens? Your audience grows. Your influence grows. Your power as a marketer grows. And at the end of the day, it's way better to have 50% of a million people talking about you than 100% or excuse me, 50% of a million people liking you and loving you than 100% of a thousand people loving you because it's a bigger overall number because again, it's grown based on the fact that there's conversation going on about you. So with that said, I hope you got value out of this Facebook Live. Give me some comments, likes, hearts, and shares if you guys did. And uh, with that said, Ty, that's another conversation for another day, my friend. I'm waiting for the LeBron James 10-part documentary and uh, that might open your eyes. But with that said, remember, polarization in marketing is one of the most powerful tools that you can go ahead and tap into. Use it, don't shy away from being disliked, don't try to please everyone. If you try to please everyone, you absolutely will fail. And uh, at the end of the day, you'll have less influence, less kind of control and power over your marketing and way less sales. Hope you got a ton of value. Till next time, over and out.